Next comedian, very, very good friend of mine who uh, hosts her own show once a week at the comic strip. She's also been seen on uh, Women's Night Out and also on VH1 Stand Up Spotlight. So put your hands together for Vanessa Hollingshead. Give her a nice hand. Vanessa Hollingshead. Hey, everybody. Good to be here. Good to, we got a few smokers here? Thank you. Non-smokers? Yeah. All right, all right, I'm gonna quit. I got the patch, haven't stuck it on yet, but I'm gonna quit. And I'm quitting not, you know, not for my health. I'm, get, I'm quitting because I can't take feeling like a leper anymore. <laughs> I go anywhere I go, I'm like ostracized from humanity. You go into a restaurant, will that be smoking or non-smoking? Smoking. Okay, you wanna go straight through the restaurant, make a right, make a left, you'll see the kitchen area, there'll be a manhole cover, straight down the ladder. Be two crates and an ashtray. <laughs> Enjoy, tell yourself. <laughs> and in Europe, it's perfectly acceptable to smoke. You go anywhere in Europe, it's hello, my friend. <laughs> Will you be joining us in smoking or chain smoking? <laughs> Just get their money. <laughs> Why don't they take all our smokers, ship us off to our own state, call Marlboro Country, let us die in peace, you know? <laughs> Smokers are better tippers, too. They probably figure, you know what? I'm not gonna live long. Might as well be generous. <laughs> and in Japan, the whole country smokes. As a matter of fact, 50% of all doctors smoke. Imagine me in a doctor's office in Japan. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Hollingshead. <coughs> Excellent, come on back from lab. <coughs> Go the long, totally black. <laughs> but this is good. This is good, I expect my okay. Rack, very fashionable color. <laughs> Make you look thinner. So, thinner on the inside, thinner on the outside. Gets rid of the ugly pink color. And a pink lung actually look like a baboon's ass. <laughs> I smell smoke. <laughs> don't smoke cigarettes. <laughs> I don't come from a dysfunctional family. I come from a disinterested family. <laughs> Both of my parents were drug addicted alcoholic hippies. It was like this growing up. Finish your homework, I'll give you the roach. <laughs> Keep it. I just want some bubble gum. I want some Bazooka Joe bubble gum. Gum's got so much sugar in it, it's so unhealthy. Try one of my hashish brownies. They're sugar free. I used to save those for the teachers. I would invite her tonight, but she would heckle me and ask everyone for pot. I'm serious. Now, my dad, on the other hand, he was British. He wasn't into pot, he was into acid, LSD, psilocybin, blue bladder, purple, you get the picture. So we used to go on family trips together without ever leaving home. <laughs> I don't have childhood memories, I have flashbacks. <laughs> So I'm not crazy about the English. And now what are they doing? They're importing these 15-year-old girls whose lips weigh more than they do are now the personification of American beauty. They all look like this. <laughs> Hello, my name is Anna Rexia. <laughs> I've got to take the clothes off and on and pose and be really happy. <laughs> or be in a mood and yet sexual. Mm. <laughs> and a lot of times I walk down the runway like this. Not because I'm trying to be elegant, but because I'm so bloody hungry. I need a food. And Olive, I'm going to faint. I can't fit in me bloody clothes anymore. My size minus one. <laughs> And they talk about it being hard work. You know, hard work is working day in and day out at a company you hate, and then taking that puny excuse for a paycheck and giving it to more people you hate. That is hard work. Everybody does Now, before I became a professional comedian, which is like ridiculous, I used to temp. I worked at this one job 
woman says to me, this means hold my calls, this means take a message. You got that? <laughs> And I want you to answer the phone before it rings because I don't like any noise. <laughs> and I want you to sharpen these pencils, okay? And empty my and empty my ashtray, make me coffee, fix the Rolodex, type this, fax this, FedEx this, come on, let's go. <laughs> so answering the phone, she's going like this before it rings, and I'm typing and I'm faxing and I'm FedExing, I'm mailing, she's like this and that, and I'm oh, Miss Platkin. <laughs> this means I won't be in tomorrow. <laughs> People they never tell you about, you know? The one that played blackmail with the tape dispenser. I'm like, Raul, I have everything except the paper clips. Mira. You're a sick because I forgot the paper clips. I forgot the paper clips. You can't ask someone, excuse me. Like human fungus. She doesn't smoke, she doesn't drink, she doesn't get laid. She's like, mm, Rome, um, we have 15,000 letters here that have all been stapled. Now, this is the tricky part. I need you to unstaple them and reattach them with a paper clip. Ask Raul. six months they want you to work. So I take 12 years of method acting and I just play the elephant man when I go in for the job interview. Hello, I'm looking for the receptionist position and I have a cream card. Sometimes my head's so big because it's so filled with numbers and drool. They never hire me. This is great. This is one. Then you, you go beyond that. You get. You remember it used to be bums on the street. Now they've become the homeless. The homeless. The subways have become like theater of the absurd. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> can I have your attention, please? I just got out of Bellevue. My dog Skippy just died. All I need is enough money to complete my college education. these women off. I mean, I got the Katie Lang hair going on. You know, to a lesbian, I'm a catch, let's face it. I'm thinking, you know, I'll just say no, straight pride. I don't do that. I can't even get to meet a guy, you know, please. So I'm at the bar, do my set. I'm thinking, you know, I'll just say no, no, just say no. Not one of them looks my way. <laughs> I start to get insecure. I start to feel fat. I mean, if a lesbian woman or a straight guy isn't interested, where's the in-between, you know? I start to turn into like Robert De Niro. <laughs> No, I'm not single. 
I'm learning how to be there for myself on a daily basis. <laughs> I love you, but I'm not in love with you. Harsh, but true. Really made me feel great. I tell my friend, she said, what you have to say is I forgive you for not being the person I need you to be, and I set you free. No, no, I get you back. different bank account. <laughs> She's coming out with a new fragrance. What's this gonna be called? Eau de la Toit? <laughs> What's that special ingredient? <laughs> and she's been working on a music video with Julie Andrews. <laughs> what are the rehearsals like? Strike a pose, super sadomasochistic, ex doge. Kiss me, Mary Poppins, kiss me. I wanna run naked through the Swiss Alps. You put that me. Get rid of that umbrella and do it to me. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Black satin panties. <laughs> Little white poodles <laughs> tying me up with some leftover noodles, <laughs> beating my bottom with small bits of string. <laughs> These are a few of my favorite things. <laughs> okay, you know that public service announcement? <laughs> friends don't let friends drive drunk. Yeah, they do. They just don't get in the car with them. <laughs> You guys have been absolutely wonderful. <laughs>